All right, guys, I'm gonna keep it real. Ryan Cohen has sold out of Bed Bath & Beyond and I've been talking about it a lot on Twitter the past few days and I made a couple videos on it. And honestly, I'm looking and I was very hesitant to talk about it in case something like this happened, but just gotta keep it real. I mean, I had a small position. I was making a small trade out of it. I did cash them out. I do still hold a little bit now that will be down a little bit. But at the end of the day, I don't care. It's such a small position relative to what I have in GameStop. And I believe in GameStop a lot more. And it just reminds me, this is why I'm gonna speak for myself. You do what you like, because of course I don't give financial advice, just my personal thoughts and opinions. But this is why it's important to do due diligence on a company and believe in it extremely, extremely greatly, right? Like extreme amount to really believe in what they're doing. Because at the end of the day, I don't think I believed enough in what Bed Bath & Beyond was doing. And I was just believing in Ryan Cohen and I have the utmost belief in Ryan Cohen, especially with what he's doing in GameStop. But I think just a lot of the noise and the hype just kind of got my attention and just got a lot of people's attention, right? And we still don't know. I mean, I'm sure Ryan Cohen had a purpose in doing this in some way or another. I mean, but I gotta keep it honest, guys. I mean, I think I might've been wrong about Bed Bath. It's still too soon to say. They could still spin off Bye Bye Baby and that could be good for them and restructuring the business. I don't know, but I think definitely a lot of learning lessons to come out of this. And yeah, I just don't think it's that big a deal. There's a lot of intense opinions on both sides. How could he do this? He rug pulled or, oh my gosh, no, he's still gonna do this. Or, oh, well, no, he was never gonna sell. Oh, he was totally gonna sell. Just a lot of noise. And I just remembering now, like, eh, this is why I probably shouldn't have even got involved in Bed Bath too much, because it's, or even talking about it. I mean, I like to talk about what's going on, so just give my thoughts. But again, I don't give financial advice. These are my personal thoughts and opinions. If people are out here, like, if you're out here just blindly following, because, oh, everybody's buying on Twitter. Like, it's like, like on Twitter is talking about buying it. I'm like, you can't just blindly follow them. I mean, if, if you're making a hype trade, Yes, you could swing on that social sentiment, but you got to understand, like, you're making a play on social sentiment. There's no fundamental investing behind that, right? So overall, I just think this whole Bed Bath thing was a learning experience. And I'm just re reminded that I love GameStop the most. So that's what I'm going to worry about the most. I'll definitely keep, maybe maybe talk about it a little more. I'll definitely keep watching it to see, like, what the outwards um or i want to say not the fallout not the outwards not the right word but the aftermath i guess of the sale and what it kind of means to the company i'll definitely be curious about that but yeah i don't know learning experience i love gamestop the dtc still did not process the stock dividend properly and i think this has been a lot of noise distracting from that so let's not forget that but just my personal thoughts and live and learn right have a great day